Lighter is better, or at least that's what many people say. From the Model O to the Pulsefire Haste, it seems that affordable ultralight mice are becoming more and more common. But what if we told you there's a new mouse that weighs only 50 grams, can double and triple click, and only costs $50? You may have thought this was a cheese grater, but no. This is the Tough M4 Air from Asus, the lightest mouse for Minecraft, other than the Starlight 12. He's Eric, and I'm Devin. In this video, we'll be going over the shape, specs, and other features of this mouse. And stick around to the end of the video to see how it stacks up against its closest competitor, the Pulsefire Haste. The M4 Air is a medium-sized symmetrical mouse. It uses a Pixar 3335 optical sensor, which loops to 16,000 dpi, the same as on the Pulsefire Haste. The 3335, while technically a lower spec sensor than the 3270, is still a flawless sensor, meaning tracking is perfectly fine. While Asus lists the weight of the mouse at 47 grams, on my scale it weighs more like 50. Either way, the mouse is incredibly lightweight for its size. The shape of the M4 Air is similar to that of the G Pro Wireless and G Pro X Super Lite, with the main difference being that it is a bit narrower. Having this shape means that the M4 Air will support a very wide range of grip styles and hand sizes. It can be solved for fingertip, claw, and palm grip, though it won't master any of them specifically. I love the shape of this mouse. Its longer triggers and slightly steeper hump make it a bit more comfortable to palm than my current man, the Pulsefire Haste, at least the way I hold the mouse. However, the side holes do make my pinky a bit uncomfortable with my grip. Also, this is one of the few mice I find comfortable to claw grip. I don't normally like clawing, but out of all the mice I've tried, this is by far my favorite for it. I'm also amazed by the build quality given the weight of this mouse. There's little to no flex in spots that are actually held when using it, even when pushing with way more force than would be reasonable while gaming. I would say this mouse overall has relatively good build quality for just mice in general, let alone superb build quality for a 50 gram mouse. The main triggers use KLGM 4.0 switches, which are among the snappiest and most tactile switches you will find. The clicks are on the heavier side and have a nice crisp response. However, on both of our copies, the left click of the mouse quickly develops significant breach trouble, which makes the clicks feel much less bouncy, and overall not as good as mice like the XM1R or Pulsefire Haste. As someone who uses both side buttons and scroll click to hotkey, those features on a mouse are much more important to me than most other people who play Minecraft. With that being said, I think the M4 has great side buttons which feel very tactile and are very well positioned to be comfortable to click. It also has a good feeling scroll click. Unlike some other mice, like the Haste, it's decently hard to accidentally scroll while clicking down the scroll wheel, which is a legitimate concern if you are a monster like me who uses the scroll click to hotkey. The scroll wheel itself has well enough to find steps, however, it has a lot of resistance and feels quite slow. To put it plainly, the best way to describe it is it feels like you're scrolling through molasses. And here's a sound test of all the buttons. The feet on this mouse are 100% PTFE. They have reasonable surface area and rounded edges. Out of the box, they are a bit scratchy, but after a few hours of play, they broke in and now offer a very smooth, though surprisingly controlled glide. My only gripe with the feet is that they're relatively thin and thus will wear down faster than some other mice. Aftermarket feet may be needed long term. This mouse has a fantastic cable. It's quite flexible and incredibly light. There is no need to swap it out with an aftermarket paracord. Jitter clicking, the M4 Air is decent. The weight of the mouse does not give me any issues with shaking, and its adaptable shape allows for a wide range of jitter clicking grips. I would say that the pre travel makes jittering a bit more annoying, but overall, this mouse can perform well. I average 13 15 TPS on this mouse, which is similar to what I get on most others. For butterfly clicking, this mouse is extremely inconsistent. I've been able to hit 20 CPS a handful of times, but due to the implementation of double click prevention, if you butterfly too quickly, it will register much lower CPS. Finding that perfect speed is pretty hard, and I have not been able to do it consistently. Generally, I get around 14 to 16 CPS when butterflying. While double clicks are inconsistent to register when butterflying, they are extremely consistent when just normal flat finger clicking. Not only that, this mouse is by far the easiest to triple click out of any mouse I've used. Drag clicking on this mouse is extremely inconsistent. 
With grip tape, short drags are passable and it can reasonably reach around 15 to 16 CPS, but most long drags will register very low CPS. You need to drag because this mouse really slowly to get even above 20 CPS. Overall, this mouse is not good for drag looking. So how does the M4 Air compare to the Pulsefire Haste in performance and value? For almost every cooking method, the M4 is either worse or on par with the Haste. It registers consistently lower CBS for butterfly and drag click compared to the Haste. Normal and jitter clicks are about the same on both mice, however it could vary with your specific style or grip. Finally, the only category where the M4 is actually better is that it is much easier to triple click than the Haste, but both mice are extremely easy to double click. So, for most Minecraft cooking methods, the haste performs much better. I'd say for Minecraft, the haste is still superior. Now if you are in the market for an extremely lightweight mouse for FPS games, I can give the M4 Air a solid recommendation. While the difference between a 50 and 60 gram mouse might not be as insane as some people say, the M4 Air does feel noticeably lighter and faster in hand. Personally, past around 60 grams, I stopped seeing any improvement in my aim and gameplay, but for $50, the M4 Air is a pretty well-priced mouse given its specs. The M4 Air doesn't clearly beat the haste in value. While the M4 comes in at around 10 grams less than the haste, it also comes with less consistent double clicks in clicking methods like butterfly and drag click, worse build quality, and less accessories like no extra skates or grip tape. So it's really up to the user if 10 grams is worth all that. However, it is worth noting that although the Haste is currently selling for just under 50 on Amazon at the moment, the Haste just came off of a few weeks sale with it being marked down to just $30. While that was the lowest price of the Haste ever, it does regularly go down to 40 or less. So once you get into a $10 to $20 difference, I think the M4 Air becomes an even less appealing alternative to the Haste, unless you really, really just want a crazy lightweight mouse. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you should consider dropping a like and subscribing as that would help us out a lot. We will be have more reviews coming up, like the Katana Superlight review, which is on its way. Our first unit was defective, so sorry for the delay. See you around. What the cringe?